So the contingency location is a temporary location a lot closer to the fight. It's not an environment that we're used to. There's no, there, more than likely there will not be any type of support from the host nation or U.S. forces. It's pretty much the equipment and team that you bring, that's all you have. We're continuing to refine what the contingency location team is comprised of uh, and what some of the tasks that they do. So the BDG is a rapidly deployable elite ground combat unit. As the BDG, we provide the initial security and communications capabilities uh, to further support joint units in agile combat employment. It's important to maintain communication uh, at the continued location with them being closer to the fight. There's, they're a little bit closer to the threat. The wing operations center may not have a real-time picture of what's going on at the continued location without that communications. Communications and logistics is definitely a big problem when it comes to lead wing. We've been heavily relying on combat comm, so we're trying to understand what capabilities they provide and how we can make that organic to the 23rd wing. As fighter aircraft are coming back, um, you know, we got to recover them, rearm them, refuel them, and then launch them and get them back in the fight a lot quicker. It's been a good opportunity to learn and kind of thrive off of the information that's being provided from other joint units coming in and for us to just kind of get a general understanding of how everybody operates and how we start to move pieces of the puzzle to make the operation a success.